Hi guys, Janet, live session. Live session, thank you for coming as always. Thank you for following. Thank you for YouTube, Janet Rangi. Thank you for following me here on Facebook. It's Janet Rangi. Of, of course, JanetRangi.com. So thank you so much. I know I'm doing videos unusual times, but I have to keep doing this. I know most of you will not watch now, but when you wake up or whatever you're doing, you know, you'll have a stop. Come watch my video. It will be here as always. Okay. As always, I'll keep on doing videos as you can see the title today, Canada. Okay, we are going to talk about opportunities in Canada because I know many of you, that's what you want to hear. Honestly, so much is going on in America. I don't feel like talking about America. We'll come back to America. We'll come back to America. We'll come back to America, but for now, let's talk about Canada. Thank you so much. I see your nice comments as always. If I don't mention your name, I love you. I love you for following always. And I come to the comment section. If you are new on this page, comment section is not just for Janet. The comment section is for all of us to learn, share. If you're in the United States, please feel free to share with our friends. If you're in Canada, feel free to share with your friends. And you know me, I can always invite you on a live session so you share. Okay, so the comment section is for all of us. Okay, Jerry, I'm doing very fine. All of you watching Richard and everyone, okay? As always, I don't mention your name. I love you. I want to go through this video, Francis. I want us to be realistic because many people are following me. Some of them new, some of them are seasoned, seasoned followers. Okay. By the way, even if you're here in America or Canada, you're following for your family. I know you send your clips home. You say, you know what? You want to come follow Janet. So I'm making your life easy, right? I'm making your life easy. Send it to your relatives at home. Send to your friends at home. Okay, anyone that will benefit from this video, just send it to Janet. Janet does the work for you. Sit back, relax. Me, I'll do the work. Enjoy the video. If you watch for entertainment, I love you for watching. Thank you for following. So before you continue, did you watch the video I did? I think it was last week. Last week. I want to make it very clear that we need to be realistic. Okay? I want you to be realistic. Let's work this together. George, yes, I know. I'm right. Thank you. And Evans, let's work together. What is real for you? What is realistic for you? Okay? Look at your education. Okay? Look at your education. Is this the best way for you to go to Canada? Okay? If not, of course, you are going to look for other avenues. And Janet is going to cover all the ways. I'm going to summarize. Because many of us, we are getting confused. Some of the videos, I'll come back and do them in detail. Some of them I've already done. I'm not going to repeat. Maybe after six months, I will repeat them again. Okay, but let's be realistic. Evaluate your situation. Understand the difference between a permanent visa and a temporary visa. I'm telling you that is the best start. The best start is to learn your situation and then understand the differences between a temporary visa and a permanent visa. Permanent visas are always more promised those are permanent residency in canada in america it could be a green card but now we are talking about canada we want to know what are the ways of getting permanent residency once you know what are the ways of getting permanent residency okay which one is best in my situation as a person which one is best for me as a family my wife and kids which one is the best for me a b c d and i'll explain why the other day I made a video saying the easiest ways to come to America and Canada. Some of you thought I was joking. But honestly, when we talk of marriage, it's an easy way of coming. You know? So it means you're going to plan years from now, even when you're starting to date. Whom are you dating? Like, whom are you dating? That could make a difference in the kind of visa you'll get one or two, three years from now, or six months from now. You know me, I like telling you the truth. Okay, start planning ahead. All right? If you have a nurse in your family, a, a, a neighbor who is a nurse, okay, are you going to date a nurse? That's just real. I'll give you my example. I got married. I was a nurse, and the beneficiary was the spouse. Okay, he came to the United States because of me. He planned. He married a nurse, and now he's doing very well. And that happened not necessarily because he wanted to come to America, but that is how he came. It happens to thousands of people. 
So start thinking like that. Like start thinking even when you're dating. Like you, sorry, I'm I'm sitting there saying, marry who you want, marry who you want. But if you're young, look ahead. Okay, it has worked. My brother married the wife a nurse. That was like I don't know, ten years ago, twelve. He didn't know they would come to America. Although I used to, you know, he saw me. I was a nurse, and he saw my sister went to America. So why not marry a nurse also? You know, by wherever they fell in love, but. You know, he continued with doing his thing, went to Sudan, worked with Coca-Cola, you know, hustling, hustling. But eventually, when the wife put things together, she passed the NCLEX, and now they are in America with green cards. The children have green cards. I'm giving you examples. You know, you come to America, you have no papers. Like, date wisely. You know what I mean? Like, I'm realistic. I'm not encouraging anything, but I have to make it real okay i'm not an immigration lawyer i'm not an attorney this is free speech there's a difference free speech janet is speaking her mind no one can stop me this is free speech okay free speech yes plan ahead plan ahead i mean think you are struggling struggling marry an rn marry a registered nurse you know look at the, look at the person you are dating like what is the potential what is the potential okay I mean, don't just fall in love haphazardly, fall in love with plans. Okay, so those are the things I say, like, you know, because going through those embassies are hard. And even when you come here getting papers, it's hard. Like, don't do things haphazardly, have a plan. You know what I mean? Some of you, you're here struggling with our papers. Instead of just dating and understanding who will give you the most benefits. Okay? So marriage is another way. I've given you enough examples. If you came in, let's go back with this video. Just watch. It's that simple. I mean, there's no magic. It's that simple. Plan ahead. Plan ahead. Make your life simple. You're going around looking, looking for girls or looking, looking for boyfriends. And you are struggling. You have no papers. Make your life simple. Marry someone that is an RN. Marry someone that has H1B. Someone that will give you something. Look, you know, like your own interests. Take care of your own interests. That's what Janet is saying. That's why Janet blogs. Having said that, is marriage the only way? No. I mean, you're already in America. Take nursing. Take nursing. They are giving people green cards when they graduate nursing. When you get that green card, go back to engineering. Go back to accounting, wherever you wanted. Okay? Or go to, to, to San Francisco, you know, look for these courses, uh, uh, information technology that give people H1B visas. Whether you're home or here, that's how you should be thinking. Don't make your life so hard, okay? You come here and you waste time on degrees that are not going to give you papers. When you need to just rush and do a rent quickly, if that is not your passion, eventually you might change. Real speech, real speech, real speech, real speech, like how am I going to cross the embassy? I didn't even do well. For example, you didn't do well at home. You got a D plus, you know? You are trying to apply for colleges in America. No one is giving you. Okay, you have a boyfriend coming from America, of course, check HIV. Don't just fall for these people who come from America, going home, you sleep with them. Don't. Okay, but be careful. You know what I mean? It's free speech. Free speech. Free speech. I love my people. I love my people. We are doing things the right way. Janet puts you in order. Janet puts you in order. Okay? You listen to that comment. Some of you, people come from America, they look cute. They have money, and then you just go sleeping with them in bed. Don't do that. Have principles. Money, no. Me, I'd rather stay home and not get sick. You know, but if you're sick, I love you. Take your medicines. I love everyone. Okay? I love everyone. But what I'm saying, be careful. Know what you're doing, but marry the right people. Like, think about your own interests. Okay? If someone comes home that they're, they're wanting papers, okay? If you see a potential, like, I mean... Don't, don't, let's not pretend. Most people, they, they, they go for their own interests. Okay? So that is why I'm saying understand the difference between permanent visas, even in Canada, and temporary visas. Permanent visas are easy to cross the embassy. Because if you marry someone here, if you marry me, for example, I'm a citizen, I put in papers for you, it's the USCIS that is going to work on your papers. You're not going to struggle and beg people in the embassy at home. You know, you are, you, you, it's us here, I present my marriage certificate, okay? I present my marriage certificate. It's evidence. I, I, I married legitimately. My people in USCIS, they interview me. They like my papers. They send it to the State Department. When you go there, the embassy, all the embassy is doing is to confirm that it's you, you know? 
That you know, instead of going to beg, beg, beg in the embassy when you don't even have school fees, all this, how will you cross the fence? You cannot cross the fence to America, you know. So you have to be smart. Be smart. You know what I mean? So having said that, if you come in late, okay, let's go through what are these Canadian you know, Canadian ways. I've talked, I'm, I'm not going to be boring. I'm not going to be boring. I'll summarize them quick because some of you are coming in. And let me be careful. Or let me explain. Some of you come. Janet, I want to go to Canada. Please help. You've watched only one video. Scroll down. Janet has been doing videos for years. The people that succeed are those that put in work. There's no shortcut. And if you believe in what Janet is saying, just start the process. Don't beat your head, beating your head. When Janet is talking about exp express entry and you are not very educated, you got a D plus or C minus, please wait for, until Janet starts talking about caregiver programs or truck drivers, okay, or marriage. Like, know yourself, okay? If you are you're educated and you have family and kids, a husband, put in express entry. Wife, put in express entry. Wait, sit back, relax. When it, it cooks, you and your family, voila, you go to Canada. Like I talk to a variety of people. I'm talking to people who have PhDs who may find express entry very easy. When I tell them, go and do IELTS exam, go and do credential evaluation, we're on the same page. And also I'm talking to my friends who are not doing very well. I see you in my inbox every day. So don't worry, opportunities here for everyone. My son is 16. He turned 17. He just applied for fast food. If you don't know fast food, they're like McDonald's, KFC, all those things. They pay very little money. But me, I want him to do the experience, you know? So he's going to apply and go there and get started. So, I mean, we start small, but I want my son to eventually become a doctor. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's just get into the gate, okay? Just get into the deck, uh, uh, to the gate. And by the way, before I forget, one of my followers, Janet, I'm applying for a college and they denied me because in Canada Community College because of mathematics. What do I do now, Janet? I'm like, keep moving. Keep moving. One says no, bye, see you next, next. People who want you, they will tell you you, have, you failed in math, will give you a remedial. They will tell you what you can do to join them. Don't stay on one, one college. Me, when people say no, I say thank you. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Next, next, next. Many colleges. By the way, they don't give you in Canada. You apply in America. Okay? You apply in America. Okay. So express entry is the... Now, having said that, Canada is determined. Canada is determined to bring millions of immigrants. And they've released their numbers for 2021, 2022, 2023. Each year, they are taking over 400 immigrants. Why not you? 400,000 immigrants each year. And they are not picking on you, you, you. You don't know who is who. You put in the work. Why not? Why not you? Except if you are from Hong Kong. Some people listen to me. You never know who is listening. If you are someone from Hong Kong, now they even have a program because they know the, 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 the problems that are going on in Hong Kong and the Chinese government. They see these are young people that will bring talent to Canada. Now they've squeezed in a program for young people from your Hong Kong. They go there. Okay. But having said that, there are new immigrants they are looking for. 400,000. Okay, and some of this will go through the federal skill uh, program. So this is how you think. There's express entry. And I'll post the link, and I've already posted the link. If you are new on this page, when I say I'll post the links, you go up here, you read for yourself. Evaluate the situation, which is the best for me. Janet, I've always tried this. I've always tried this. I didn't go to school. I didn't know. What is the best for you? I present things that are good for everyone express entry of course we've talked it's more needs your education your work experience you need to do some english exams you need to do credential evaluation it involves some money it involves work but if you watch janet rangi videos which i have done step by step step by step you will be there even if it's not janet rangi you go do more research on youtube you follow people that have talked about express entry success is time success is effort People that put in the time. Now, express entry for you listening to me. PhD, you're young. Master's, you're young. Bachelor's degree, you're young. Even diploma, you're young. 
you are ready you have some money to do ielts exam to put in the express entry go on youtube follow janet rangi come here on facebook janet rangi watch the videos that i've done about express entry canada.ca i see here i post the links you spend time there you do it you do it why is janet doing this because many people are coming from other countries okay many people listen to me they might be in india or everything but me now i'm focused from people from home and you know i'm helping you understand that this is how other nations are doing things that's why they are here in big numbers you succeed our nation succeed okay you come in big numbers gone are the days of complaining and no action janet takes action okay express entry again when i post the link go research spend time on express entry that is number one when they say four hundred thousand uh immigrants that's how they are going to take people those will go through express entry okay you meet those points they tell you then you meet the cut point they invite you to apply for permanent residency i'm not gonna waste a lot of time there it will be boring but i will do these videos one by one i've already done a video if you haven't watched express entry down here scroll down but i will do it again in the future as new people keep on coming and I, as you share with new people okay family sponsorship i just talked about this some of this will go to marriage some of them will go to grandparents, children, relatives of these people of permanent residency. Okay, so they are open to immigration. The other one I've talked about on this page, it will be provincial nominee programs. So if you go to provincial nominee programs, you can go through the express entry too. Or you can do province by province. Again, the link will be up here when I'm done. You go and read what is provincial programs. Again, Janet has talked about this. She will continue talking about programs. All these are permanent residency opportunities. This is permanent visa. People who have some education, people who have a job, people who are willing to put in the work, college educated people, uh, university students, diploma students, those who have the will to put in the work, these are good programs for you. Yes, they are re realistic. Okay, and I've gone into it and I've taught you how to get job offers. Job bank on Canada.ca is away. You go to LinkedIn, you set a good profile, professional profile. That's how you get employers on LinkedIn. You follow those companies you see on job bank, you follow them. Okay, you go indeed.ca, you go to Kijiji. Those are some of the resources you want to know when you are looking for these jobs. Express entry, when you have a job offer, your points are up there. Your English exam is good. Your points are up there. You have a family in Canada. Your points are up there. I have to be careful. Some of you think when you have a family in Canada, you go applying for a student visa and you think that's a strong point. No, it's not a strong point. Okay. So be careful. Don't watch Janet Rangi video one and you think you know. It's a combination. You have to have a big, big picture. Okay. All right. So someone is saying with ways and aisles in my pocket, points are crazy. PNP also taking uh my my noc not taking okay i don't know what you mean no by the way if you don't meet the point this year don't give up not even this year improve your english okay try and find uh sometimes they have accept friends i'm not sure okay if you have a partner they can also do that and then use their points on ielts like the other skills you can use but the most important is to get a job offer if you can get a job offer, it will make your points go off the roof. And then you'll just meet that cut point. Then they invite you to apply. Okay. Anyway, you get the point. Don't worry. This is too much information. I always say when you come to watch Janet Rangi videos, come with a pen and paper. But relax. The first time you're watching this video, okay, relax, enjoy it. And then you can come back and take notes if you're new. Okay. Don't worry. This, some of this terminology, if you're new, on this page they're kind of confusing there's too much information but believe you me you watch the video once you come back you watch again you start writing the main points 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 you do your own research you'll be okay so these are permanent residency so i'm making sure you understand the difference between permanent residency and temporary so when i talk of permanent residency it means they give you to go stay in canada permanently express entry permanently okay getting a permanent residency through family sponsorship marriage relatives Permanent residency, provincial nominee programs, permanent residency. They have Quebec, Quebec, I think people that speak French. Some of you went to school for French or some of you come from countries that speak French, whichever way that is good. But even English speaking people, Quebec has on their own program also that they can invite you to be a resident, permanent residency, no permanent resident in Quebec. So you need to, to understand these things because sometimes when you get permanent residency in one 
province, you might not be allowed to live in another one. So you need to be, you know, to be careful with that. All right. Someone says, list the job sites, please. I just mentioned them. You'll go back on this video and watch again. But definitely the most important is Canada.ca. You type in the search button, job bank. That is the page you want to be. All most employers in Canada puts those, even uh, hiring international people, they put their jobs on job bank. Okay. Again, I've talked about Atlantic immigration pilot programs. They are still there for skilled workers, okay? Those wanting to live in the Atlantic region of Canada, they also have permanent residency and opportunities, okay? For international graduates or even those who are already in Canada, they are becoming students. And I'll talk about students later. But if you are outside Canada, yes, there are ways you can get into the immigration pilot programs. Remember, these numbers have been updated. I'm very excited. That means my job will even be, I'll be busy because some people think, oh, maybe they've taken enough people. No, they need many people. Canada is committed to growing the economy. They want to be a superpower in the future. And there's no way you can be a superpower without human resource. Okay. They are fishing, fishing and getting people from different countries and their talents and their abilities and they bring diversity. They want to grow. So they've released these numbers and I posted the link. These are not Janet Rangi's words. These are they are on the website, canada.ca, official website for the Canadian government. It's up there. Okay? Even if you're in the United States, things are not working for you, and you don't see your own future, Canada is an option. Again, make sure your papers are right. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> don't cross over and you can't come back. You only cross over if you know how you come back. Okay? But if you're here and you're a student and nursing is not your option you are not finding someone you can marry you are not seeing anyways how you are going to have your papers right listen to me listen to me listen to me okay explore a visiting visa go and see for yourself and then make a decision if you don't like it come back to america now don't apply if your papers are not right and you're under the table that will be one way and if you reach canada and they deny you they will post you where you came from they're not sending you to america you don't have citizenship here so be careful with these things when janet is talking be careful find your lawyers okay but me i'm just telling you is to avoid stress janet is here to help us avoid stress and have options 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 we are not gonna be stressed we come to America the first time, we make mistakes. No, Janet is here now. We are making the right decisions from day one. From day one, we are understanding what the number one, once you immigrate here, you want to know how will you live and work permanently, okay? And work towards that. Not just pursuing an education and blindly. Dating blindly. Eh? Just doing things blindly with no plans now janet is saying no we plan 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 okay so for my people who are not very good in school and you know education was not good we have caregiver programs coming up they're also going to take you know home child care providers support workers and those ones can also be given a permanent residency they used to have something called living and that one ended okay but again i'll post the link some of you think it's unrealistic if you have that aunt of you who divorced she's struggling at home and she's smart enough and she's willing to do caregiver give her the link let her try is anyone coming to beat you because you tried you know you have those people who are you know hopeless or they, they don't just don't corona is here we have to look towards these rich nations they will survive my friends they they have the dollar you know they can print money us we can't print money okay they are lucky they have the dollar when the recession comes when corona comes they can always print money and survive Okay, some of you, maybe you think, uh, what do they, Bitcoin will work? I don't think it will work. The US dollar is powerful, my friend. Okay, so that's why we are here. We are here because of opportunities. When other people are dry, dry, Corona, Corona, this ones, once Corona is out, we are back in the game. We are back in the game. We are back in the game. The dollar, my friend, the dollar. We are here because me, I'm here for the dollar. I'm here for the dollar. I took a chance because I'm here to get dollars and take care of my kids and do well. You should be doing the same things. So you should be having plans. Nothing haphazard. Haphazard for what? Okay? Caregiver programs. Janet posts the links you don't share with your friends. These opportunities are here in millions. You know? If I was, this page will be a million followers. But sometimes we think if we share, someone else will take our chance. No. These are millions. And by there, our people, the more they know, the better. These are millions of opportunities. I remember those are here. I don't remember which mayor I was watching on TV here in America. 
He was wanting to go and get a, a, a law. He wanted them to pass law. He's like, I want people to give them 100,000 immigrants in my city so they can come take up jobs and bring the economy up. Because you bring these people, you give them jobs in the factory, guess what? They are going to buy cars in that town. They are going to pay taxes in that town. Okay, they are going to build homes in that town. Everyone wants people. People want human resource. Human resource. Okay, I love you back, Sunday. I love you, my followers. Good to see you, Kerry. Caregivers. Caregivers, the people that are not good in school. You can't say I was not good in school. You can get permanent residency through caregiver programs. And this one's feeling quick. And by the way, caregiver is still open. Even 2020, they still have opportunities for the, they call them home support workers. I think caregiver is closed. But if you go under support worker, you can get in. You can get in, tell your friends and realize you can get into these programs. You can, why not? Okay, and follow Janet. Don't go putting in applications that are half baked we want professional like i tell you google google do a professional job when you're giving professional resumes professional resumes don't look desperate when they tell you uh, write a statement why you want to do nursing write a statement why you want to work with us you know, I grew up from a poor background, and if I, you can just help me, I'll be happy to work with you. I'll work so hard. No, there's no desperation. A story, tell them a compelling story. Why do you want to join nursing? I took care of my aunt when I was uh, 21 years old. My aunt died from cancer. I saw how hard the nurses worked, and I promised to become a nurse one day and help people. A story. Not just I want to help people. Even me, I can help people. I can go out here. I see a woman struggling and I want to, I help them stand up. I'm helping. That's, you don't just say helping, helping what? That's like compelling, compelling stories, compelling stories. You know, when I was five years old, I have a scar. I got burnt and those doctors did surgery. They repair. I want to be a doctor. I'll never forget when my mom struggled with diabetes. I was the one dropping her all the time in the clinics and I see what they do. Those are stories, my friends. Nothing of police, poor, poor. Who wants to hear about poor people? No one wants to hear about poor people. Believe in yourself. No one wants to hear your story about poor. What are you going to offer? When a company asks you, what are you bringing on the table? Hard work, timeliness, reliability. Those are the things you're telling them. No one wants to hear. I'm here because I'm poor, so help me, please. No, unless it's a scholarship helping the people who are disadvantaged. Even with those scholarships, you go telling people you are poor, they get turned off. Why are you doing that? Having grown up in a disadvantaged background, I want to go back and give back. I'm the first one in college. When I get this degree, I'll go back and give up, give back. They don't have enough teachers in specialized education, no, not enough people doing psychiatry, not taking care of mental health. I want to go back and give back. I'm poor. I'm ne no, no, no. No one wants to hear you, you're poor. You go, oh, by the way, how poor are you? You are not. Who is poor? Poor is relative. Who said poor is just money, money, money? I can be poor without money, but I have the brains. Am I poor? No. So people want to see what are you bringing on the table? Always think of what are you bringing on the table? Why are you a student? You're going to be a good student. Because I'm passionate from my experience. I'm an immigrant. I've seen how my parents worked hard to come to America. I have to take care of this opportunity. You understand, my friends? So all those things I'm talking, express entry, family uh, sponsorship, provincial nominee programs, Quebec, select, uh, select, selected for skilled workers, Atlantic immigration pilot programs, you write down. This is too much information, caregivers. And then Janet again has made a full video on rural, rural and northern immigration pilot programs. And we even went through the provinces that are under the rural and northern immigration pilot. I'm summarizing this because people get confused. I want to summarize. So when you look at this video, you understand where do I fall? Which is the most realistic? Is me getting a job the most realistic? Okay. And having speak, you know, when I remember points, I don't know, waste time. I have to bring Janet. These people, they are telling me they'll find me a job in the oil industry. These people are finding me a job in the hotel industry, and they they, they have been selected, and now they want me to pay them eight hundred and fifty USD before they 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 let. How do I know it's real? Janet will never know who's real. There are many scammers online. Okay, Janet will never know. But what I can tell you, me, I'm not paying anyone unless I have my my appointment and I, I have something stamped. A job is not enough. I want. A stamped passport with a visa, then here, 
850 i'm gonna give you that's just a fair exchange so if you want to deal with these scammers on the internet tell them okay i'm willing to pay this money everything i have no problem but fair exchange you look for the job help me apply and everything but show me how i'm going to pass through the canadian embassy me i will remove money for a visa okay not potential visa for a real visa okay like okay me i want people that have a payment plan well i can pay you down payment for looking for the job that should be very minimal but then the rest but i have done and with I, i've worked before with people i've had they've said sometimes these agents they put in the work they put in the work but some of us once we get the visa we run away and then when they start denying you start uh, threatening to sue and the agent has worked so hard and then now they have to let go the visa so what kind of business are they doing so understand these things but janet will never know who who is the who who is uh you know the scammer who is telling you the truth or not be responsible but that's why again 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 that's why janet does these videos do it for yourself and by the way know your weakness if you know you have a weakness with computers find friends that you think are very educated or they like internet like use other people's resources that's why i encourage people to go to groups i don't know how those groups are doing but the reason i told people to go to groups is like you'll always find information they'll be always posting you if someone's saying they need us to scan this document you don't know how to scan follow those people that know how to scan resources in this world you don't have to know everything you know when i was doing for my master going for my masters in ucla they told us you don't have to know everything but what we are teaching you is resources if you don't know where do you go to find the resources my friends my friends don't stress like you have to know everything i don't have to know everything i can use other people if someone is better than me i just go and use other people sometimes shortcuts you can be wasting your time like me i can give you an example this house i'm sitting in is very huge and sometimes on weekends just when i feel like I, you know i'm from work i feel like i need to rest the kitchen is waiting for me the rooms the bathrooms are waiting for me food is waiting for me laundry is waiting for me shopping is waiting for me you know what every two weeks i pay a lady that's all she does she gets money through cleaning houses i give her money and she saves me time by the way she does a professional job after she's done you think you're, you're in a hotel even tissue papers are folded professionally like a hotel the bed is made like a hotel you know and the woods they polish they spray the woods if you should see my dining table it's very well polished the house will always look brand new because it's cleaned by a professional what am i saying you don't have to know everything you don't have to do everything you know so that way i have time to do videos for my followers if i was to clean this house by the time it's lunch time i'm holding my back i'm like what is this but i'm ready to lose some money for the service okay sometimes i don't feel like posting things on youtube i have young people i'm like i'll give you this number of dollars keep posting for me on youtube sometimes you think janet is posting these things herself for me to have grown to this level i use my money <laughs> to grow you know i i just someone say who has tried rural northern atlantic programs that's a good program rural and northern immigration pilot programs these are small communities in canada that will give permanent residency okay understand we are still on this we want to know how is Canada going to give 400,000 permanent visas to immigrants in the coming years? Each year, almost half a million. Each year, almost half a million people. Those are many people. You can be one of them. You know, when I was home, I had nurses who are going to America. And you think maybe they are talking about nurses from this fancy, maybe from Europe. They are talking from Asia. Oh, maybe me, I'm from Africa. Maybe not. I entered the competition and I came. <laughs> the good thing they don't say we don't take this country, we don't take this country, they take everyone. So you put in the work, put, and by the way, the most important thing, the difference between those who make it and those who don't is the work and the time they put in. You saw one of my followers here came to tell you about the J1 visa. He said when he was denied twice, looking back, he was not ready. But the third time he was ready, it made complete sense because he put in the time and he did the right thing. Okay? But embassy will always be an issue. If you didn't understand, go back at this beginning of this video, evaluate your situation. Evaluate your situation. Sometimes you might have to use these shortcuts to, to cross. If things are not working for me, sorry, if I'm single, I'm going to marry American. It's an option. 
if I'm in America, I don't have papers, I'm going to marry a registered nurse so I can get papers. Planning. Planning. Okay, I'm not a lawyer. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Free speech. Now, another one that gives permanent residency. Agri-food pilot programs. By the way, now again, here we come. If you, education was not your thing, my friends. Food sector, agriculture sector. They have uh, people who are experienced in, in an unseasonal work. They will be giving them again what? Visas, permanent visas. Again, Janet will post the link. Take your time to read. Go and do more research. Canada.ca. Read, read. Go watch Janet Rangi videos. Go through. Go on YouTube. Go on Google. Read, read, read. So that way, Janet just introduces for you. But you do all the work. Sometimes you just watch Janet and she does all the work anyway. Who knows? It just depends on your situation. But if it's not enough, go and read, go and read, go and read and see what are these legitimate legal ways that people are going to Canada? What are these legitimate ways that people are going to America? Okay? Okay. About refugees, by the way, they say some Canadian citizens can come together and sponsor refugees. I'll not spend time on refugees. I'll not spend time on uh, entrepreneurs. You know, people who want to start a business can also go to Canada. They, if they want to be self-employed and employ other people, I'm not going to waste time on that, okay? Having said that, I think you have an idea. Those are the common ways of people going to Canada, permanent residency. Let's move to temporary. These ones have done videos. And the most common temporary, which I encourage all of us, that do not have a way, is visiting visa. Okay, visiting visa, you will learn when you reach there. Recently, they are giving, I don't know if they are still giving, but they have a program where if you go, you are there on a visiting visa in Canada and you find an employer, they can sponsor you for a work permit. So visiting visa is an option. But darn it, what do I do? If you have a relatives, weddings, okay, uh, you can go for to see um, honeymoon. If you don't have a relatives and you have some training back home, you can go on a conference that correlates with what you do. Again, watch the conference video. You don't need a relative in these places. Do you need some, you have some money for a motel? Do you have some money for an air ticket? You go and just be convincing always. Don't go there. I give you an example. You've never stepped in church. And you are busy looking for a, a conference for, for the church. You reach the embassy. They ask you why you're going. When is the last time you went to church? You don't know. I mean, these people are not foolish. You think. Janet has started telling you and... Sometimes I, I feel like meeting the people at the embassy. I've cleaned up. They are receiving very qualified applicants now and are making their life easy. You know what I mean? Because of the experience I have in America, I went to that embassy, but just being here, I can see these things. And I've read. And I've listened to videos from embassy people, embassy officials. So this did not come by magic. I put in a lot of time. So when I'm telling you some of these things, they are facts. I've listened to people in the embassy themselves. And after doing this for many years, I'm getting the point. So I'm coming here to share with you. Okay? So, like, I've always given a, an example of if you work in construction, you want to get a conference in construction, okay? You want to improve your ways of roofing back home. So that's very specialized in construction. You see a conference on the latest ways of doing roofing. You go there. When you go to the embassy, why are you going to conference? What do you work? I do construction. I have this business, but our roofing things are outdated. I'm going to the United States to learn about the latest roofing strategies. It makes sense. Okay? It makes sense. So we don't just, oh, they're inviting 100 people for the church conference. They deny 90% of you. Why? Why did they give some of them, though? Maybe they have a good travel history. They've been to the United States and back. Maybe they're students. Maybe, who knows? But... You do your home. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to, you know, they're inviting you in. No, you have, you work with people in the shelter at home. United Nations, okay? You, you take care of women that have been battered or, you know, that are mistreated. Okay? It makes sense for you to go for a United Nations conference talking about human rights so you can bring those strategies back home. It's that simple, my friends. Look for a church conference if you're a pastor. Or you are very active in church for real. And if they ask you, I'm a catechist. I'm a catechist and I, I, you know, I've been doing piano this long. You know, now I'm going to learn about dig digital strategies. Now most of the services are going online. Now we have a conference on how to, to, to reach church members through online programs. 
It's that simple, my friends, like common sense. Like don't go there lying to the embassy, like they can read through. That's why we get denied at higher levels. But now we Janet, we are learning. Even me, I didn't know these things, my friends. I didn't know. I didn't know, but I'm knowing slowly, slowly. Okay, so that's, those are some of the things I'm saying to help us. Now, visiting, visiting visa, that's what I'm saying. Conference. You have some money for a little motel. You can afford to live in Canada for three weeks. Who told you you cannot go on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on WhatsApp and meet people in Canada and start planning? So when you go to the conference, immediately you finish the conference, you go and visit those people. They tell you how things happen in Canada. I mean, that's visitor. When you are a visitor, you are a tourist, basically, aren't you? Like my friends, Janet is giving you some of these things are risky, but... Is it better than staying there and staying jobless and you have an university degree in your pocket? You know, it takes time, it takes money, it takes effort, it takes planning, it takes looking ahead and thinking outside the box. Okay, another one, the best. The best of the best. Because if you don't go through these permanent visas, I've always said in America even, green card is the best. What if we don't get the green card? What if we don't get permanent residency in Canada? Who said by the way if you don't go as a visitor if you go as a visitor whom you marry you go as a visitor you find a job if possible visiting usually you don't have a work permit but as i said canada has been offering things you you can be the right place right time you never know but the best for me in my opinion in my opinion always is the student visa student visa always gives you time gives you opportunities in canada there's a program after you graduate they have a way of keeping you Immediately you finish two school, two two years of schooling in Canada. You have a way of staying as a permanent residency, and all those things you will learn once you go there as a student. Janet, how do I get a school? Canada.ca, Canada, the website, Canada.ca is very comprehensive. They spend all the time there. They explain to you which are the colleges you need to apply. You can't just apply in any college in Canada. You can't just apply in any university in Canada. They have special schools, you know, uh, designated schools that take foreign students it's not like you just go here and then even in america if you google there are those that don't give i-20s they just don't take international students but many 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 of them take international students so make sure you make use of that canada.ca if you want to go to canada that should be your favorite page that should be on your home page anytime you're free you spend time there so student visa is an option for you to stay as a permanent resident in Canada even visiting visa when you go and explore is a way for you to stay eventually but you have to know people when you're there again Janet is big big about planning big big about brimming big big about knowing what where you're going okay where you are from and where you are going I'm big 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 on those things my friends okay so having said that having said that my goal is to leave you better than you found me as always Continue sharing with your friends these videos. We continue growing. Our communities keep growing. Okay. I love you so much for always following Janet Rangi. I come to the comments. I, I, I come through and make sure that if you have any questions, I can answer. But as usual, I can see people communicating. I've seen people that have gone to the comment section and come. They came. Just from someone making a comment. And then they made friendship and then they come. You know, it's not just for me, it's for all of us. Of course, Facebook likes when we interact, we interact and all that, okay? Remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed. The desire will push over the edge. The desire will make you the best. You stand, you fall, you stand, you fall, you never give up. Some of you, you fall once and then you give up. How many people have been here, denied their visa two, three times? I have someone who was denied their visa 10 times and they came to America. Now that's true determination. I have a person that went to the, to the border, they slashed his uh, uh, days, and then now he only has three months. Eventually he managed and he stayed. Now he has a, a green card, a work permit. You know? But the most important thing, if you leave this video, is to plan. Understand your situation. Understand which is the best visa for you and your family. Like, don't ask Janet, I don't know. No, no, no. Time to study. Study. Take your time. The first time you meet Janet Rangi video, it's just one video. The rest will come through hard work. The time, the time you put in, I always say, you will get the big picture. Okay? One video, some things might be misleading. For example, when I was talking about getting permanent residence in Canada, 
I said you can get points if you have family and relatives in Canada. It's true, but that is permanent residency. Okay? That is some programs. But can you imagine you are applying for a student visa or you are applying for a visiting visa and you go there? Well, if they ask you if you have family, yes. Do you plan to return home? Yes. If you tell them you have family and friends in Canada and I think I will not come back. No, the law tells them temporary visas, you are going there and going home. So that's ground for denial. It's that simple. Some of you have been denied at the embassy just because of such questions. Do you have the intent of going back home? No, if I reach there, here, they have opportunities in nursing. I might decide to stay. Done. The interview is over. By the way, it's that simple. Is how, that's why they want to meet you face to face. Canada, they don't have to meet you face to face. But when you're writing your statement, wherever you're going to scan, understand the law. There's a difference between permanent visas. They know you are going there permanently to work. And temporary visas, the law tells them you have to go back. It's your responsibility. It's up to you. Whatever information you present, they have to have a sense that at the end of your studies, at the end of your visiting visa, you will go back home. Because that is the goal of a visiting visa. They don't mix issues. And some of you think, no, they will look. Tell them the truth, your past history. You go there, you say, you know, people tell me if I say I have a family there, they will deny me. No, computers don't lie. As soon as they see a lie, by the way, some of the things I've told you on this page many, many times, they think that they don't forgive our lies. Even here in America, a, a lawyer has to go and say, you know, now she's married to a U.S. citizen and try and see if they can arrest the lie. The worst you can do is to lie to the government in America. The, you have no second chance. When you lie to the government, usually it's a big deal. And that's why sometimes you go to the embassy 10 times and you can't just get through. And they'll be nice to you because the law tells them you, they, you can go as many times as you want. If you, they deny you, you think, you get money, you go back. They have no problem how many times you go. But if you are not saying you lie to the government... The person that will come five years from now, they will love you. You're talking so nice. They see you have children. They see you have a good heart and everything. They, they just wish I could help this person, but I can't. <laughs> That's how they think. Because they're not have already. Can you imagine they come and audit the officer? How can you let someone that lied to the American government to America? And you say, oh, no, these computers, they've been, they've had computers more than 20, 30, 40 years. Who knows? I don't know how long they've been keeping records. But anytime you go to the embassy, even they deny you once, make sure the same information you gave them the first time is the second time. Now, if they haven't documented anything, that's a different story you can get through. I don't know. But if there's anything documented in their records, it better be the same next time. Well, if you're single last year, you can go back, you're married, that's okay. But you cannot have, you did not have children, but now you have children that are 10 years and you are in the embassy two years ago. How come you didn't tell us last year that you had children? So no, they don't forgive those. And you can go to the embassy 10 times and you'll never get through. So do the, the right things the first time. If you do white lies that they won't catch, it's not up to me. Does it happen? They are humans, they, but if they catch you, you know, they are humans, there are things people get away with, but they have to stick with that life for life. Even when they come here now, they are ready to file immigration papers. It's hard because your record is there and you can't change. <laughs> you know what I mean? So think. And anytime you put in papers, understand that if they ask you evidence, you should be able to produce. Okay? Always think like that. I'm telling these people I'm married, then I should be able to produce a marriage certificate. I'm telling these people that I'm going for a conference. Yes, if they call that conference, they better have that number and someone had better pick the phone on the other side. You see what I mean? Like there are times when you, the embassy will give you a visa and everything. You reach the border. These people are not, they're suspicious. I've watched, their, they, they, they show us movies. What they do at the immigration borders, I've seen. And then they go and start looking. Oh, this man said he has a conference. They push you on the side. They go in the booth. Now they can't even find that conference. They look for the name of that conference they can't find. Be careful of these people who are scamming you on online. Make sure the person giving you a conference is a legitimate conference. There's a number. They give you a certificate. They give you a receipt and the contact number and the email. So you reach the border. They call, hi, yes, we're expecting so and so. Yes, true. Mom, welcome. Welcome to the United States. Welcome to Canada. It's that simple. I like giving these examples because they are real. I had a story of a musician back home who came and 
asked for a visiting visa and he was given. And then the excitement, he starts sending information to people in the United States. I'm coming. These people in the United States are excited. They start printing flyers, flyers, flyers everywhere. So and so is coming. Pay, 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 pay. He reaches the embassy. They have the dogs, which they have. is called a German Shepherd. They're like, okay, you musician A, B, C, and D. Yes. Yes, we had you. You, you, you have why? What kind of visa? Visiting. Visiting visa, you are not allowed to work in the United States. Go back home and get a visa that will allow you to come and work. And they are not bad. They are just telling you the truth. You know? So you have to keep things under wraps. Okay? Some of you say, okay, um, where are you going? I'm going to Chicago to school. But now, let's say you are going to visit your aunt in Chicago. Okay? Then you reach the border. Now you get confused. You are panicking. Why are you panicking? Panicking for what? You told the embassy you are going to visit Chicago. They gave you a visa. The person in the embassy in, uh, back home, client going to Chicago visiting. You come to the border. Where are you going to? You know, I reached here. I think my aunt is in Maryland. And I'm going to see if I can get a job there. Go back home. You have a visiting visa. First of all, you are supposed to be going to Chicago. And now you are going to see your aunt. Visiting visa is not for working. They are not mean. They are doing their job. Things work. The law works. The law works. Stick to your story. Stick to your story. And by that, I was listening to these embassy people one day, and they said, what if I get a visa, and will the people deny me when I get a day? You know how at home, oh, don't think just because you got a visa, you might reach the border, and they will return you. Well, true, but just people at the embassy said, not really. The people at the port of entry respect the embassy and the decision they made. You have to make a serious problem for them not to let you in. Once the embassy has given you a visa, honestly consider yourself coming in. It's these serious, serious mistakes that people don't think is serious that makes them get returned home. They are being honest. Visiting visa, you are not supposed to be working. You told the embassy you are going to Chicago. Where are you going? You know what I mean? But other than that, if the embassy tells you you have a visa, going to visit in Chicago, stay there. You go to the, to, to, the, to the port of entry, same story. In the airplane, same story. They tell you any the people have to feel Chicago visiting. When you reach America, how are you, ma'am? Good, thank you. All right, you must be tired from a, a long flight. Yes, 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 I'm nervous. No, you don't have to be nervous. By the way, they are nice. Where are you going? Chicago visiting. Wow, I see that's what he's saying. I can buy it. As soon as the embassy post, they have access here in America. Never be lied. This is this technology, my friends. They have everything open. Wherever you say at the embassy, say the same thing. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in. Me, I have my, my younger brother. He always goes to the embassy. They always give him. He comes here. Last time we went to Chicago, in fact, they didn't even stop. I don't know if that man was so tired, but he just gave him an open. You know how you reach the embassy and they don't stamp six months? I mean, they're supposed to stamp like six months, even if your visa is five years. He just let my brother in because he's been coming. Maybe he was tired or maybe just like my brother. But my brother was only here for three weeks and he went back home. So when you do the right thing, they like you. They relate with you. They trust you. They know the law is on your side. They just understand when you do the law, you follow the law. Everything will be okay, my friends. I went beyond this video. I love you so much for following me. JanetRanky.com. You can learn more about Janet. Janet Rangi on YouTube. And of course, continue following janet rangi if you have you succeed in any way you never reach janet the review section is there for you we have five star reviews people come and share their stories if you have time go to the review section see what other people have succeeded so you can trust janet more i continue doing these videos although i'm getting busy i continue i continue doing these videos as much as i can okay thank you so much good to see you and i'll see you in the next video okay thank you so much merci beaucoup adios Bye bye, Kwaheri, okay? Muchas gracias, muchas gracias.